So we're going to create and configure user account. The first task is to create a user template for the branch office. Now the first thing we ask to do is to create a user template for the branch office. So we're asked to create a folder called branch one that's user data and share it. And we should modify the shared permission so that everyone in the group has full what? Control. Is that not correct? So let's go ahead. Let's start with the first part by creating a shared folder called in drive C. So we'll go to drive C. We create a shared folder. And we call the folder branch one dash user data. And we're asked to share that folder. So we'll go to property sharing. We go to advanced sharing. Oh, sorry. Um, we needed to log in as an administrator, right? Is that not correct? Okay. So let's log in as um, administrator. Logging in now as an administrator, not as Brad Docker. So I've switched the account. I'm logging in now as an administrator. Of course, we just wait for the server to boot up. Allow this to get refreshed. And we'll proceed. Leaving this to refresh is because settings are changing. Are you getting me? So that's why I'm ready to refresh. Okay, let's go to Drive C now. Uh, we'll go to Drive C, we right click. Okay, it's already created before, so we just uh, go to the properties, we go to sharing, advanced sharing. We say share this folder. We we'll go to permissions. Everyone, we say full control. Is that not correct? That was the task. So we'll click apply and we click OK, OK, and OK. Now, in Active Directory, we're asked to create a new user with the following properties in the branch office one OU. So we go to Active Directory users and computers now. And we go to the branch office OU, which is this. So we right click, we go to new and we say what? User. Are we together? So from that user, the first, uh, the, the full name is branch templates. So we'll come to the full name here and it says branch. With the word underscore branch underscore templates. User logon name. Okay, user logon name is the same thing. Underscore branch underscore templates. Okay, we we'll click next. Password remains the same default password. Password. And account is disabled. So we check account is disabled. And that is it. We click next and finish. Now, did you see that there is an icon there that looks disabled there, right? Now, that's our account templates. Now, from there, we're going to touch to, we're going to be creating a new user there. We're going to create a new user there. Okay. We're going to create a new user. So, right click now. You see the word copy. You see the word copy. Huh? You see the word copy. But before we copy, we're asked to configure the template settings. So when I'm going to go, I'm going to go to properties, click on properties, and we're going to go to on the property. Let's go to on general tab on the city. Do we have city here? Okay, let's go to organization. 
let's go to profile address sorry address on the address on the city we're asked to call it slow and the group should be branch one users do we have branch one users yeah so we go to group member of we click add and we say branch we check names and we select branch one users so we click OK okay yeah excuse me <laughs> okay the next step is um, home home um, home folder now for the home folder we're asked to connect to just a minute let me be sure click on connect Click on connect. Then type the word forward slash. What's our domain name? No, what's our domain our server name? SROV1, right? Okay. Just want to be sure of that. Uh, yeah, it should be here. Yes. So it's S. Is it S U? S V R. Right. One. Right. So we put double colon, uh, double forward slash. Then we say branch. Branch. One. Dash. User. Data. They will put the dollar sign, uh, the percentage sign, username. We will put the percentage sign again. Okay. Click apply now and okay. So that's settled. The next step we need to do is to create a user, right? Is that not correct? Okay. Let's do that. So the next step is to create a user. So let's go to task three. Now we're going to right click on branch office template and we'll click on what? Copy. Are we following? We'll click on copy. Now copy the first name. It's, um, don't we have Eddie made that? Oh, we deleted it before, right? We deleted Eddie. So we write E, D, and last name is Medal. Medal. Okay. Um, okay, logon name. Logon name we can use um, no logon name will logon name we use um, E D what? Excuse me. So it's L. It's so it's L E D. Is that what you're saying? M E D. Middle E. Just a surname and then the first name. So it's M E D. Yeah. Huh? Class is M E D. Okay, let's go with M E D. Let's go with M E D. M E D. Med. Yeah, med. M E D. Okay, we'll click next and password is password. Password is password. And user user must change his password, right? It's cleared. User must change his password is cleared. And accounts disabled is cleared. Because remember by default the template was actually what? Disabled. Is that not correct? So we're asked to clear the rest of that. Okay. Now click next. Then we click on finish. Okay, we're asked now to verify the following properties. Verify that Eddie Medals is actually in the city called slug. It's also 
the home directory, it's at that position, a branch office that's user data, ed, um, ours will be med, right? Yeah. Then a group, it's branch office one, they will sign us from the domain. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's right click. Properties. Let's go to account. We'll go to profile. Do we, do we verify that it's MED? Is it verified that it's MED? Is that correct? Okay, let's verify member of. Is it a branch? Branch one users. Let's verify the address. Is it on the city as well? Exactly. That is how to create a template, a user from a template. So we can design templates for different users, those in Ventuk, those in Oshakati, those in Katima, you can name it. So whenever you need to create a user, you don't need to start all the way from the scratch. You already know that the users in Katima, they belong to Katima branch office admin. If it's an admin you're creating, you go there and you create the admin. Are we following? It's very important that you understand this aspect. And that is why I'm doing it as if I am a lame man. We go it step by step. I did not assume. I followed the steps. Are we together? Uh, the next step is to sign out. And um, then we sign in into the computer system. Okay, so let's go sign in with the computer system with MED to confirm our account. Yes. Okay, guys. That's my client's computer system, so I'm going to log in as I'm going to log in as uh, MED, right? So let's go back to other users. So I'm going to type MED and password, and that's it. So MED will automatically be created on the client computer systems. But then, then let's say, after we've signed in, we are asked to verify that it has a hard drive that is mapped to Z. Remember when we created the home directory? It says connects to Z drive. So his directory is stored on user data, branch office or user data. That is where his profile is. So as he's logging in into the server system, his profile is mapped to Z drive. It's not stored on the local path. It's mapped to what? Z drive. So we'll just wait for it to go, log in and we'll proceed. See if I... Okay, guys, guys, one class. Now my computer is logged in. I'm just gonna click on close. I'm not installing any updates. Now let's go to drive. Let's go to our drive. Now, do you see a map drive there? Yes. Do you see a map drive? Yes. If you open it, this this is the this is the drive or the profile of the user. Because that's the profile where the user is stored. I would together. That is why we verify that the Z is mapped to the home directory on client what on client one. Are you seeing that drive there? That's the, the network map drive of the user profile brand. So everything we put in. Mm -hmm. For example, now if I go to the server, let's go to the server now. Let's go to drive C. Yeah. Do you see MED? Mm -hmm. If you open it, a folder is empty, right? Mm -hmm. So I can right click and I can put a folder called today and I can put a document, right click, and I can create a new document, text, payments, reports. <laughs> I open it. Uh, let's see a uh, laptop. Now maybe dollars, 2,400. Desktop. Namibian dollars, 7,000. So I can come and save settings. Now I'm going to log in back to the client computer. If I come here, if I open it, refresh. If I come here and I open it, do you see today there? 
Do you see payments? And exactly the same thing I did. Remember, when he logs it to computer 2, it will be the same thing. He logs it to computer 3. Any computer in the network that is joined to the domain, the, this drive will go with him. That is his shared drive. It's fine to go with him. <laughs> Are we following, guys? Yes. It's not a joke. It's very important that you understand this aspect of the server system. Yes. What I've just showed you is what some people, as an administrator, find it difficult to understand and put together. I've just showed you how to create a user from a template and map that user to a drive, a folder on the server system that is shared for everyone. I can put permissions there as well. Now, when MED and any other user on that template, whenever they log in into the domain, that drive moves with them. That is like their storage. Now, we're talking about FSRM, right? I cannot go to my FSRM, then create a quota on branch one. What was the name again? Branch one user data. I can create a quota uh, using using FSRM to create a quota management for that particular shared drive, uh, shared folder, by giving it twenty percent of my one terabyte. So they only have twenty percent of one thousand, which they can use. All the users that are found in that profile. Are we following? That's what I wanted to show you, guys. So um, the, 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 that will be the end for managing. That will be the end of managing Active Directory uh, domain services objects. OK? We'll still talk about them later on in 4.11. Now, the next one is exercise three. <coughs> exercise three. We're going to be managing the computer object in Active Directory. So in this task, we're going to reset the computer account. We're going to observe the, the, the behavior when the user logs on after the computer has been reset. Then we're going to rejoin the computer back to the domain. Are we following? OK, so what we're going to do now, we're going to reset the computer account. So we're going to, I'm going to, OK, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the computer to, to be like this. So yeah. So let's go to the server system. Thank mm -hmm. you.